The 2018 dip in Malta um, was due to one-off costs. Um, a deeper analysis of profitability uh, in the Maltese banking sector uh, shows that you know, we are profitable. Uh, and there is nothing to suggest that the profitability will dip. Will they continue to manage to do pretty well? Well, uh, uh, clearly there are a number of uh, new factors, uh, new actors on the stage, which will require them um, to do things. So uh, competitiveness is now uh, challenged positively, I think, by uh, innovators uh, in the field. Um, and those are essentially the fintech-based uh, innovators. Well, banks uh, will have to take that seriously. We understand they are taking it seriously and uh, invest in that field too. Um, otherwise, uh, people will resort uh, to what they feel are simpler ways and cheaper ways of getting their banking services or quasi-banking services. MPLs, non-performing loans, have actually been going down and they were not high, at least not in the last uh, couple of years. We're at pretty good levels in uh, European comparison. So let's be clear, we are fully for the completion of the banking union. For that to be sustainable, you do need a European deposit insurance scheme, which needs to be fully, fully mutualized. Now, as regards European safe assets, yes, we think it's a great idea, but it requires a lot of work um, conceptually, and I would also say politically. People need to agree that we need it, and they need to accept its preconditions and its consequences. Thank you.